Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video we're going to do something that we used to do a lot more of last year that we haven't done a whole lot of uh, really since a lot of the COVID stuff hit. But what we're going to be doing is exactly kind of what we talked about a few videos ago, maybe in the last video, I'm not really sure when I mentioned it. We're going to bust this Team Rocket booster box and sell on it out the unweighed packs. And we have a guy, you bought two of them, I believe his name was Daniel, he wants to open them up on the channel, maybe grade some stuff and we'll see what's going on. So I'm going to officially break the seal in this video and then there'll be 34 packs left as of when I'm recording it. Um, by the time you guys see this video, it, they, there may be less. I doubt they'll be sold out just because I haven't mentioned it too much and I don't really plan to advertise it too hard anywhere unless people reach out. So that's what we have right here. Now hopefully, yeah, ain't something messed up with the packs inside. But pop it right there. So we'll give him these top two packs. Make sure nothing crazy is going on. But they all look fine. Yeah, they just don't look like they've been split. All first edition. Yeah. For a second there, I'd forgotten that those that artwork had on the side. And they've got that really fresh, crisp smell to them. So there it is. We're going to set those to the side, tilt this down just a little bit. And you guys keep using that code on Troll and Toad, man. Uh, it saves you guys money. Sometimes it gives me a kickback. And it's really been working out. So. I appreciate all of you who have been shopping there. You don't have to buy my stuff. You can buy someone else's stuff for all I care. Here we go. But I buy a lot of stuff from Troll and Toad myself. I can't use that code because it's for my market affiliation. But um, I use, or I, I don't use a code at all, but I still buy stuff from them because sometimes they have a lot of things all at once. Man, messing up this pack. I'm just trying to get it right, but I guess that's not going to happen. So we know we got a slow poke in this one. I'm going to go straight through. I'm not going to try to like flip uh, cards around somewhere else. So Slowpoke. Dark Radicate. It looks like these first edition stamps are printed really well. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with Team Rocket, the big main card that people want to pull is the Dark Charizard. It also has a lot of other really good cards like Dark Blastoise, Dark Dragonite. Uh, there are certain cards that are really expensive just because of how hard they are to grade in perfect condition. We're well, not perfect, but PSA 10 condition, close to perfect, uh, like Dark Magneton, which is you know, really low pop. Well, it's not super low pop compared to a lot of other cards, but compared to the other cards in the set, it is really low, low pop. Last I checked, it was under 50. It may be around that mark a little higher now just because a lot of people have been grading it. And then also there's a, a chance for you to pull you know, like the Grail, which is like a first edition non-holographic Dark Dragonite but it has the holographic number and that would be in the uncommon so that would be in the back three cards we saw someone post a video of that not too long ago sleep squirtle these were doing really good I know a lot of people were getting them graded oh we did get a holler uh, it's a dark Arbok this is definitely not one of the hollows you want to pull but you got a hollow so I mean, that's pretty good um, let's see what we have Centering on these is really great. Not seeing any print lines either. That's almost a first. Usually I can find one. See the start of a swirl right there below his body. On the back side, it's not too bad. It's got a little white dot right there, very small. A little white dot right there, very small. The centering is a little, you can tell it's a little off on the centering on the back side. The front, I couldn't really tell. Man, all right, so we got, you got you a hollow. Now, let's see if we can pull out the Miracle and get a Dark Dragonite error. Got Porygon, Imposter Oaks Revenge, and then a Potion Energy, so we did not get it there. All right, so here's pack number two for Daniel. Just pop that seal. So ideally, you go straight across the top, but it's probably about never works for me. Put it down. We're going to start off with a slow poke again for the pack straight off of the top. So there should be 11 holographics left in the 35 pack, 34 packs plus this one 35th pack. Um, the normal premium odds are 1 in 33 cards or 1 in 3 packs. In every pack you get one rare. So it's either going to be a rare or a non holographic rare. Got another sleep. I've got Squirtle again. Maybe we'll get another Dark Arbok. Oh, two for two on the hollows. Dang, dark slow, bro. 
that. Again, this isn't like a high dollar holographic card, but this one's more expensive than the Dark Arbok. Let me set those right there. Flip it on the back side. Now, this one actually looks to be in really nice shape. That same corner there, I don't really see it. Maybe a really tiny, I mean, you gotta like zoom zoom to find it. Same thing on that corner, there's nothing there. Maybe a really small one if you zoom in on it. But overall, this one's in really nice shape. It's kind of cool how the front is almost perfectly centered, and then on the back, you got it off just ever so much. But I don't think it'd be enough to detract. This one may have a shot at a 10. That's really nice. And you got two squirrels, and you got that dark Arbok. All right. See if we could pull out the miracle. Now, if he pulls a dark Charmeleon or a dark Dragonair, those are cards that are probably worth grading as well. Or Flareon, Dark Flareon, Dark, dark Jolteon, but Dark Dragonite is the one we're going for. That's a really good uncommon. Got the Dark Jolteon and the Dark Primate. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, there are more of these. There should be more for sale. And um, give, a, give a big thanks to Daniel for hosting this video.